you know, I don't want there to be any hard feelings between us, Harvey. When you and uh, Rachel, Rachel! Rachel were being abducted, I was sitting in Gordon's cage. Now, I, I didn't rig those charges. Your man, your plan. Do I really look like a guy with a plan? You know what I am? I'm a dog chasing cars. I wouldn't know what to do with one if I caught it. You know, I just do things. The mob has plans. The cops have plans. Gordon's got plans. You know, they're schemers. Schemers trying to control their little worlds. I'm not a schemer. I try to show the schemers how pathetic their attempts to control things really are. John 8. Jesus went unto the Mount of Olives, and early in the morning he came again into the temple, and all the people came unto him, and he sat down and taught them. And the scribes and Pharisees brought unto him a woman taken in adultery, and when they had set her in the midst, they say unto him, Master, this woman was taken in adultery in the very act. Now Moses and the law commanded us that such should be stoned. But what sayest thou? This they said, tempting him, that they might have to accuse him. But Jesus stooped down, and with his finger wrote on the ground, as though he heard them not. So when they continued asking him, he lifted up himself and said unto them, He that is without sin among you, let him first cast a stone at her. And again he stooped down and wrote on the ground, and they which heard it, being convicted by their own conscience, went out one by one, beginning at the eldest, even unto the last. And Jesus was left alone, and the woman standing in the midst. When Jesus had lifted up himself and saw none but the woman, he said unto her, Woman, where are those thine accusers? Hath no man condemn thee? She said, No man, Lord. And Jesus said unto her, Neither do I condemn thee. Go and sin no more. Then spake Jesus again unto them, saying, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. The Pharisees therefore said unto him, Thou bearest record of thyself, thy record is not true. Jesus answered and said unto them, Though I bear record of myself, yet my record is true. For I know whence I came, and whither I go. But ye cannot tell whence I come, and whither I go. Ye judge after the flesh, I judge no man. And yet if I judge, my judgment is true, for I am not alone, but I and the Father that sent me. It is also written in your law, that the testimony of two men is true. I am one that bear witness of myself, and the Father that sent me beareth witness of me. Then said they unto him, Where is thy father? Jesus answered, Ye neither know me nor my father. If ye had known me, ye should have known my father also. These words spake Jesus in the treasure as he taught in the temple. And no man laid hands on him, for his hour was not yet come. Then said Jesus again unto them, I go my way, and ye shall seek me, and shall die in your sins. Whither I go, ye cannot come. Then said the Jews, Will he kill himself? Because he saith, Whither I go, ye cannot come. And he said unto them, Ye are from beneath, I am from above. Ye are of this world, I am not of this world. I said therefore unto you, That ye shall die in your sins. For if ye believe not that I am he, ye shall die in your sins. Then said they unto him, Who art thou? And Jesus saith unto them, Even the same that I said unto you from the beginning. I have many things to say and to judge of you, but he that sent me is true, and I speak to the world those things which I have heard of him. They understood not that he spake to them of the Father. Then said Jesus unto them, When ye have lifted up the Son of Man, then shall ye know that I am he, and that I do nothing of myself, but as my father hath taught me, I speak these things. And he that sent me is with me. The father hath not left me alone, for I do always those things that please him. As he spake these words, many believed on him. 
Then said Jesus to those Jews which believed on him, If ye continue in my word, then are ye my disciples indeed, and ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. They answered him, We be Abraham's seed, and were never in bondage to any man. How sayest thou, ye shall be made free? Jesus answered them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Whosoever committeth sin is the servant of sin, and the servant abideth not in the house for ever, but the Son abideth ever. If the Son therefore shall make you free, ye shall be free indeed. I know that ye are Abraham's seed, but ye seek to kill me, because my word hath no place in you. I speak that which I have seen with my father, and ye do that which ye have seen with your father. Hey, Shalom. All praises to you, Bashem. Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rekakwadash, a much mercy uh, to you sincere brothers out there. Um, the true house of David. All you brothers and you sisters out there that believe in the Lord. And it's all about uh, repenting unto the Lord. Not just teaching the Lord, but actually moving like he, he did. Actually doing the things that he did. Um, that is the issue um, in these times. Um, a lot of guys are just teaching and um, par parroting. Like like we say in these camps, all these camps do is parrot. Well, what we what we have going on in the new covenant, you have guys they will parrot, but not really move like the Lord like that. So you have all these ministers, they're ministering the new covenant, which that's good because, like Paul, like uh, uh, like Paul said real quick, even if um uh, guys is teaching. Um, deceitfully, or if they're teaching sincerely, Yahweh Shai is still going out. So it's a, it's actually it's a, it's a good thing, but at the same time, um, you have to move like the Lord as much as possible, bro. You know that's what you have to do, and the the. The thing is, uh, the Lord was the Lord said that they're of this world. I, I am not of this world. So if you're of this world, you're going to be able to be related to people going to be able to see eye to eye uh, unto you. People going to be able to see they're going to be able to uh, they're going to like you. If you're of the world and the, the world will love his own. See, the world didn't like your house shy. And the, the world still doesn't like your house shy. So if you really move like your house shy. The world's not gonna really like you here, but in the in in these last few seconds, uh, the Lord is showing who His chosen is. He's showing it, and it's really uh, evident who's really of the Lord, because uh, certain of us brothers are moving like the Lord, and we're teaching what the Lord taught. We're not teaching, we're not teaching nothing the Lord didn't taught. It's all about what the Lord taught. The Lord didn't teach certain things in the Gospels. And what do you see? You see guys teaching things that the Lord did never teach. The Lord never taught Esau. The Lord never taught the shit of the world. The Lord, the Lord never taught women like that. I'm going to just say it like that. Because that's not that wasn't important. What's important is you repenting and moving like the Lord did. So that's why the Lord said too, you are from this world. I, I am not from this world. Because guys are really of this world. Because they're teaching shit the Lord never taught. The only thing the Lord was teaching was faith, mercy, and discernment. So he had compassion on men to teach them the right things. And the Lord showed you the heart of flesh. He showed you a circumcised heart. I see guys teaching about a circumcised heart, but they're not circumcising them heart, though. They're not circumcising themselves. When you circumcise your your heart, it don't just you, you're not just saying that's for a catchphrase or just to do a video. When you really circumcise your heart, you moving away from the multitude, bro. For you moving away from the crowd. This is a narrow path, man. I see guys too, man. A lot of guys they like to sneak over here and there's still our content 
but then they're just they're teaching partially but they're not really repenting or circumcising their heart because they're still with the multitude they're still with the world you know what i'm saying so it's actually heavy and and that don't that don't really do nothing to us that's just you guys you guys that don't really circumcise your heart or actually repent or actually doing this for uh uh uh, uh out of the heart or for a good reason to help our people you guys that's not doing this for that eventually well a lot of you guys have re I've already fallen already but a lot of you guys are so carnal it take for the Lord to do something to you physically to see that you're falling because a lot of you guys can't see that you're off right now because you're carnal you think you're okay so what you gotta understand is Cause I seen a video talking about the circumcision of the heart. The circumcision of the heart, you gotta separate yourself and die, and not move like the world. Not always wanting to be seen. So a lot of you guys talking about circumcision, well, you're not really circumcised. The circumcision is is cutting the flesh off from the multitude, cutting, being away from the multitude, bro. Walking a narrow path. This is a uh, Philippians uh, fifteen. Uh, 1 and 15 it says some deed preach the anointed either for envy and strife and some also of a good will right so a lot of guys yeah a lot of guys are teaching but a lot of guys are teaching out of envy because they're not moving like the Lord so if you're not really moving like the Lord uh, really moved you have to move like it so you're teaching the envy and strife and some are also of a good will why because you're you're doing what the Lord did. You're moving like the Lord did. You know, this truth is for you to use it just to teach. That's all you're supposed to do. But a lot of you guys are using this truth for fame, clout, shit of the world, to fulfill your own lust. And you're not fulfilling any prophecies because you're doing this uh, out of an ill will. That's why a lot of you, you just... You don't really understand that like that because a lot of you don't really believe in it. You're just using it. You're not really sincerely circumcising yourself or sincerely repenting or sincerely listening. Because the thing about it, if, if a lot of guys were really moving like the Lord instead of just acting like uh, they're teaching the Lord, then then this word would be, be really, really out there, out there. Like, well, it is out there, but... It, uh, it like how the hate that we get over here we'll get more love but because we're not really of this world like that we don't really get love like that guys don't really uh a few people show us love but a lot of people they they secretly they listen in secret and then that's 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 fine too that's good too long as you're really repenting long as you're repenting in secret i think that's beautiful but a lot of guys, they secretly listen to us and they use like what we say, but they're not really doing it. They're just using this word uh, to, to be of the world, not really move like the Lord, just act like they're of it. You know, it's heavy, but that's what's going on. So what's happening is we, I see every last one of you guys, man, it's heavy too. It says one preach the anointing of contention not sincerely supposing to add affliction unto my bonds right a lot of guys are not teaching sincerely bro a lot of guys are not teaching with the intent to circumcise their heart or with the intent to repent unto the new covenant guys are not really repenting it's, it's just a it's just a game he says but other love knowing that i am set for the defense of the gospel right so we're set for the defense of the, of the gospel just like paul what then now we're standing every way, whether in pretense or in truth, the anointed is preached, and I therein do rejoice, yea, and will rejoice. Actually, so uh, exactly. So um what's beautiful is the word is just being teached, and I'm at a point now where I'm just happy the new covenant is going out. Because whatever guys don't have, um, we could fill in the void. You know, we fill in the void, whatever, whatever guys don't have or they, whatever they're not teaching of the new covenant, we're going to teach it. So that fulfills the whole new covenant, because if guys are just teaching a certain part of it and not really moving like it or they're just bringing that out, 
we bring the whole rest of it out over here. So it all comes together if you're really uh, seeing what's happening. So um, it's a beautiful thing. The new covenant is being taught. But a lot of guys that's teaching it, they're not really of the Lord. They're not really moving like the Lord. They're just they're just using things, you know, like what we say, because if guys were really of the Lord, man, you, you fucking guys wouldn't be going on no Sakari. You're debating guys and shit like that. Shit heavy, bro. But anyway, um, I want to go back to. You know what? I'm going to read a little bit more of this because guys talking about they need a new body. Well, Paul, Peter and Stefan and all these men, they were teaching you how shy. They were uh, the scriptures say Stefan was full of the faith and power. Matter of fact, let me read that real quick. I'm going to come back to this. I got a couple things I just want to go over again because it all makes sense that everybody is not of God. And the 144,000, if you just of 144,000, like I said yesterday, if you did that percentage out of like 8 billion people like it is on the planet, then you will see that the election is like less than 1% of the world, less than 1%. So when you hear about the 10 percent that rules the world, that is that is very true. It is a small percentage. But even the ones that are of God, that's an even smaller percentage of the world right now. You got to understand that. So what do we have? A bunch of guys There's a bunch of goddamn counterfeits that's out there. So you got to be able to see. Um, let me go to this and ask real quick. So you got to understand this, man. It's, it's many uh, false prophets out there. This is what you got to understand. This is uh, Acts 6 and 8. It says, and Stephen full of faith and power. So Stephen, he didn't need a new body to be full of faith and the power. That spirit went out there after the Lord uh came back and said he the lord said it was finished the lord said receive my spirit and the apostles and acts that spirit was going out way back then and the ones that believed they received that spirit so stephan being one of them and stephan full of the faith and power did wonders and miracles around the people you see that and then arose certain of the synagogues which were called the synagogues of the libertines that's a camp the Tyrrhenians, that's a camp, the, Ex the Alexandrians, that's a camp, and all of them and and them of Cilicia and of Asia disputing with Stephen, and they were not able to resist the spirit which he spake. Right. So you got all these synagogues in these camps. They had came up against Stephen, against uh against Stephen, and then um what you gotta really look at is that it's the same way today. You know, the Lord said one man out of a thousand. It, that it really means that. So you have whole camps, not really. Um, that were against the Lord. That's how guys are today. They are. You got whole camps and groups and and multitudes of guys. They are against the Lord. They're against us few brothers. And not everybody's of the Lord like that. This is what you got to understand. Even guys of the new covenant, the majority, the majority of guys teaching the new covenant, they're not of it like that. They're not. But it's good, guys, is attempting to try to teach it. But a lot of you guys are not of it. And damn sure you're not leaders. Yeah, but you're teaching it. Because a lot of you guys are not, guys are teaching the new covenant without really teaching the gospel, bro. It is heavy. It is really heavy. The gospel don't have shit to do with Esau, this world, or the weaker vessel. That's not the. That's not part of the gospel. So, Stephen was full of the faith and the power. He didn't need a new body. You see, and a lot of you got a lot of you guys are just you're full of the world, man. Now, Philippians one and nineteen. For I know that this shall turn to my salvation through your prayer 
and the supply of the spirit of Yahweh Shai Mashiach. Right, so everybody's not going to be able to relate unto the spirit or relate unto um, Yahweh Shai. They're not going to be able to. Um, the, the, the world, if you're, this is, look at it like this. If you're received of the world, then you're not received of Yahweh Shai. You're not of Yahweh Shai, bro. That's just how it is. Philippians 1 and 20, according to my earnest expectation and my hope that in nothing I shall be ashamed. But that with all boldness as always, so now also the anointing shall be magnified in my body. So now the anointing shall be magnified in my body. That's what the Lord said. Paul said, if you will borrow the price, then you got to glorify the Lord in your body. The only thing you're supposed to be teaching and, and speaking about is your how shy in your body. So by by this point right here, right, guys are not magnifying uh, Yahweh Shai in their body. They're they're venturing off into other things, and yeah, they add Yahweh Shai in there. But they're the only thing guys guys are not just teaching Yahweh Shai. They're teaching other shit. Guys are teaching shit the world can relate to. The, the world can like like and accept. They're not teaching Yahweh Shai because they're not really of him. And I'm going to go into it. I'm going to go back to John 8 and, and just add off of that lesson I did yesterday because the elect have obtained it and the rest are blinded. And the elect is not a lot of people. It's not a lot of people. All right. The elect is a small... 1% of the world right now, bro. 144,000 out of 8 billion. It's a small number. I'm trying to give you brothers an a, a idea to really see this thing. So the majority of people teaching, they're not even of God, bro. And if you teach shit of the world, then the world will hear you. I think the brother left that this morning. Let me, let me... Let me, um, yeah, so, matter of fact, let me read that real quick. That's what a lot of you guys don't really get. It's like, yeah, you could teach the Bible, but it's like a lot of guys are not of it like that. Yeah, here it is. First John 4 and 5, it says, They are of the world, therefore speak they of the world, and the world hears them. Right. So what did Paul just tell you? Paul said that Yahweh Shai, the anointed, is being magnified in his body. That's the only thing you're supposed to be teaching like that. So what we see is, guys, it's not really teaching the gospel. And what what's happening to a lot of guys are like, like, let us let us have some of your oil and shit. And they sneak over here and guys that teach about circumcising circumcision. But are you really circumcising yourself? You know, it's really heavy, man. And our people really don't have discernment like that. So if like if you're really not the elect, then you're really not going to have discernment. It's just as simple as that. If you really don't have love like that, you're really not going to have discernment. And um, nothing is going to uh, will, will sway um, the elect. You can't deceive the elect with nothing. Nothing is going to deceive the elect. No matter what you try to do, it ain't, you ain't nothing going to deceive the elect. The elect is few. And then they, then you have the believers or the, or the families of the elect or the friends of the elect. That's, that makes up the one third. But um, the elect won't be deceived by nothing, man, by nothing in the flesh. That's why it's heavy what's happening in this time. It's really showing really what's, what's, what it is in this time, bro. And if, you, and if, you, if you're of the world, you're going to speak of the world and, and the world's going to hear you. I'm not here for the world to hear me. We're only here for the elect to hear us and the elect will get to us. 
That's how powerful the spirit is. You may, we may seem insignificant to guys or like nothing, but the elect are hearing these words and repenting. That's what guys don't understand because they're not spiritual. They're carnal. They think more is better, but no, more is just more of the world. That's all that. It ain't, it's not more of the elect because it's not that many of the elect right now. Guys are, guys are gathering the world. You're not gathering the elect. That's who you're teaching to. All you stupid asses. <laughs> are you carnal motherfuckers, man? A lot of you don't have a spiritual bone in your body, bro. And it's just the truth. First John 4 and 5, they are of the world, therefore they speak of the world, and the world hears them. Right. So if you speak of the world, the world gonna hear you. We're not speaking to the world. We're speaking to the ones of, of the Lord, of the few. It says, We are of God, and he that know of God hear of us, and he that is not of God hear hear of not us. Exactly. That's the point. Right. So everybody don't really understand circumcision. Everybody don't really understand the new heart because they don't have it. Guys don't have guys are not full of faith and power. They're full of deceit and guile and envy. But they're still teaching the new covenant. But they're not a part of the Lord like that. And that's what you have. You have guys, you know, uh, putting themselves up there, making themselves ministers when they are not ministering themselves from within. That's why the Lord said, ye fool, cleanse first the inside of the cup. A lot of guys just want to be seen teaching the new covenant. Yeah, we're teaching the new covenant. But it ain't about that. It, it, you could do that all you want, but at the end of the day, if you really are not ministering yourself or, or circumcising your own heart, or repenting your own self from within, then it don't matter. It, it don't matter what you're saying because your heart ain't really all the way there. It says, we are of God. We are of God. So by John saying this, it's letting you know that they we are of God. They knew they were of God back then. A lot of you guys don't even know you're the elect, man, going on these fucking platforms. Fucking reprobates, bro. It says, We are of God. He that know of God hear of us. And he that is not of God hear of us not, right? So if you're not really a God, you don't really hear us like that. We're nobodies to you guys. Everybody know we the spirit of truth and the spirit of error. And guys are erring in these last few seconds, man. That's the truth. Guys are erring. A lot of guys are erring and fulfilling their heart's lust. Like they supposed to do. So I'm going to read this again. Philippians 1 and 20. According to my earnest expectation and my hope that in nothing shall be ashamed, but that with all boldness, as always, so now also the anointing shall be magnified in my body, whether it be by life or by death. To live, for me to live is the anointed to die is gain but if i live in the flesh this is the fruit of my labor yet i shall choose what i wrought not right so we die every day so yahweh shai was being magnified in the true man of the lord's body now you go into the content of what stephan was speaking he was he was cussing their ass out about the lord you see you go into what Paul's ministry was, he was cussing their ass out about the Lord. You go into Yahweh Shai's ministry, ministry, he was teaching them about the new covenant. About, about the, the new covenant. And, and that's the same uh, speech that the apostles were speaking in Acts. They were full of the power because they had the Lord in them. So now we're in a time now where, yeah, you have, you have this trend of the new covenant but the majority of guys teaching it, they're not really of God from within. You know, guys are just parrots. Guys are parroting uh, certain things we're saying, but not really of it like that. If Paul was magnifying Yahweh Shai in his body, that's what you're supposed to be magnifying, nothing else. Now we see at the last few moments, guys are swaying off from the gospel that the Lord actually taught.
That's what's happening. That's why it's a division, because guys are guys are teaching shit that the world accepts. You know, like the world accepts the woman and all that that rhetoric, you know, the, the Esau doctrine, the camp, the, the, the camp doctrine. That's what everybody accepts. But as soon as you really teach it how shy, you won't be accepted. And then once you point out that guys ain't really uh, teaching the Lord, they're they're not teaching the gospel. They're adding shit to the gospel because all that shit, the Esau shit and the weaker vessel and the shit of the world. That's not a part of the Lord's gospel, bro. That's a part of the, this world shit. So, like, if you start teaching like that, then the world will hear your ass because you're of the fucking world, man. That's why guys can't get it because they're the world, man. The Lord was teaching um, faith and, and mercy and discernment for you to be able to see this shit. The elect is not, it's not a lot of the elect. The 144,000 is, is less than 1% of the world, bro. So you're insignificant if you're the elect, bro. But you're of God. A lot of guys try to act like they're of God, but they're not of God, bro. They're of the fucking world, bro. Ministers of the new covenant, bro. I mean, it's good. You guys are teaching it, but you're not really of it like that. And it's already showed. So I want to go back in here um, and read uh, yeah, how was shy. I want to read John John the eight and thirty one because uh, you had these these demons. They were saying they were Abraham's seed. Yeah, you guys are Israelites, but in this in this chapter, yeah, they were just Israelites, but they hated the Lord because they wasn't of the Lord. Yeah, you could be an Israelite and not be of the Lord. Like guys is teaching the Bible, but they're not of the Lord. They're not of the covenant. They're against the covenant. You got guys in the covenant. They're not of the covenant because they're not teaching the gospel like the Lord. They're they're adding their own shit in there. Like you don't really see what the fuck you're doing, bro. Like it's crazy. But then guys get mad at us because we're pointing out like, hey, look, the Lord didn't teach that shit you're teaching, bro. He didn't teach that shit. It's heavy, man. That's why we're set up for the defense of the gospel. We don't care about how this world look at us, man. We don't care about this shit here like that. And we, and like, personally, like, I'm thinking like guys are like me, like don't really care about this world. They're, they're just teaching the Lord. No, guys care about uh, the world and what the world thinks. And, how you know, like they really, that shit makes a difference to guys, bro. It really does. The Lord didn't teach Shit like that, man. He didn't teach Esau like that. He didn't teach uh, the woman at all. He didn't do that. That's not part of the gospel. Shh. Yeah, were women, were women believing? Yes. And that's all they're supposed to do. As far as you teaching that shit, like that shit don't matter, man. All these women are... If you look at it, a lot of these women, they're heathens. And if, if, and if you are a, a, a woman of the Lord, then you just believe and that's that's fine. You'll be saved off your beliefs or if you're by childbearing, where, wherever it may be, you believing, you know. But a lot of women ain't even fucking elect women as they fucking say they are. You know, like a lot, you know, it's a lot. This ain't about being in the spotlight, bro. It's about you finding a word of power and believing in it and just dropping back. But the gospel does not have anything to do with what guys is adding to the gospels. Guys are adding shit to the gospels, bro. If that's not a part of the gospel, what you're teaching that shit. Now, this is John 8 and 31. Then said Yahweh Shai to those Jews which believed on him. If ye continue in my word, then you are my disciples indeed. Right? You, the, the word the Lord spoke. So if the Lord didn't speak it, you shouldn't speak it either, bro. There's no excuses for that at this time. This is, this is what everything is about. It's about what the Lord was teaching, what the Lord would have did. He wasn't teaching that shit. That shit's of the world, bro. 
like a lot of you guys are of the world. And this is it too. And really personally, we don't want nothing to do with, with none of you guys teaching that shit that the Lord didn't teach. If the Lord didn't teach it, we, we don't have nothing to do with that shit. It says, um, and ye shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. Right. The truth is the Lord taught in a particular way, which if you're not teaching that way, then you're not of God, bro. The scripture tell you in Revelations, if you take away or even add to it, you're adding shit, bro. The gospel don't have nothing to do with Esau or the flesh or all this worldly shit. The gospel is, is something of power unseen within repentance. Guys talking about circumcision. I mean, you're not even fucking repenting, bro. Like, it's heavy. You're not repenting, bro. You're on fucking shows with, um, with fucking sick Ari. Guys are not repenting. Because if you repented, you would never went on there with sick Ari. A lot of you guys are reprobates, bro. And I, I just have to say it like that. I just have to say it like that. And you're not of God. A lot of you guys are not of God. You're showing it. The Lord didn't move like you guys are moving, man. None of, the Lord ain't... Man, it's heavy, bro. It really is. And they answered him and says, We be Abraham's seed, and we were never in bondage to any man. How sayest thou, ye shall be made free? Right, so there, so yeah, we know you guys are Israelites, you know, like, well, we understand you got a lot of you guys are Israelites, but but just knowing you're Israelite now, that that doesn't matter. You have to know that you're of God, and like you guys went on that show, and a lot of you guys don't know, don't can't uh, confidently say that you're the elect, because you're not the elect. Your conscience bear witness. <laughs> you see. You're a bunch of fucking clowns and copycats, bro. S sneaking over here, getting our content. You know, like well, shit that we say, guys, sneak over here and get. But you're not even of it like that. It's heavy, bro. A lot of fucking copycats, bro. Oh, man. It's, it's so heavy, though. But it's beautiful. You guys are teaching a new covenant. Cause whatever you guys don't have, we have it over here. All right. <laughs> now it says, uh, Yahweh Shai saying unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, whosoever committed sin is the servant of sin. And right now ain't the time to be teaching about the flesh, bro. Or, or just this shit about anything about the world. Because the new covenant is, is totally about repenting, believing, um, um, and, and actually having real discernment and that, how do you rate a person by how they're moving like the Lord, you know, and then we don't hold grudges, man. Like, you know, I, I want the Lord to have mercy on all you guys, man. Like for real, for real, because I understand a lot of you guys really don't understand like that. You really don't, even though you may say you do, but a lot of you really don't understand like that. Because if you really understood, then you wouldn't be doing certain things or teaching certain shit that you shouldn't. So that means you really don't understand. I mean, we could put these acts on all day. But at the end of the day, it's like, man, you see guys really don't understand. So we don't, we don't, uh, we, we forgive you guys, man. You know, we forgive you. I mean, like the way I uh, speak, it may be harsh, but it's like, I do this because I have love for you guys. But we see a lot of you guys don't have the love of God in you. You don't have the love of God in you because it's like you'll be moving like the Lord and you wouldn't do shit the Lord didn't do. That's that's what I'm saying. Now, let me read this real quick, man. And you have a shy, it's uh, John 8, 35. And the servant abideth not in the house forever, but the son abideth forever. It says, if the son therefore shall make ye free, ye shall be free indeed. Right, so we're not in bondage to camp doctrine or to camps or the world. But you're a prisoner of Yahweh Shai, so if you're a prisoner of the, of the Lord, then you have to do what the Lord did and you have to teach what he taught. That's just plain and simple. So if you venture off and start teaching shit of the world, 
and what the world accepts. You know what I'm saying? Like the the world accepts all that carnal weak shit. The the knowledge of the the, the the tree of the good and evil. Like we're not teaching that shit over here. We're teaching you how a shy and how he walked, man. Who gives a fuck about the knowledge of the tree of good and evil? That's why a lot of you guys ain't fucking right. Because at the last moment, the the ways of the world is seducing your ass. Because Yahweh Shai didn't go into that shit like that. Yahweh Shai is a tree of life. But in order to be of Yahweh Shai, you have to move like a man. That's what he told you, bro. You eat of his flesh and drink of his blood. A lot of you guys ain't moving like the Lord because you're not of him, man. Fuck. It's crazy, man. John 8 37, right? So what we're speaking over here is not for everybody to, to really agree with. It's not for the world, bro. But for some reason, guys think that what they're speaking should be heard of the world and people should accept it. And they get all these reprobates. They get thousands and thousands of subscribers, but they're all reprobates. You literally got guys teaching that you have to wait on a covenant and the Lord didn't bring it yet. He's going to bring it. And you got guys teaching they need new bodies. For real? Where is that in the scriptures, bro? See, this word ain't written for you guys, man. A lot of you guys are cursed, man. Curse, curse is he that, that, uh, that teaches the book, the word of the Lord deceitfully. A lot of you guys are teaching the word of the Lord deceitfully too, bro. Uh, John 8 and 37. This is the point right here. I know that you are Abraham's seed, right? We know you guys are Israelites. You know, we know it. You niggas out there. But you seek not to kill, but you seek to kill me because my word have no place in you. I know you are Abraham's seed, but you seek to kill me because ye, my word have no place in you. Because my word have no place in you. So when guys don't really agree with what we're teaching or what we're saying or what we're doing or whatever, it's because really the word of God don't really have a place in them. They're just holding a Bible. They're like skeletons holding the Bible with no fucking flesh on them. They're dead holding the Bible. That's why the Lord said they are as graves. Because these words don't have places in guys. That's why guys are so against what we're saying. Because they're of the world. They want to they wanna act like... They want to add the world into the Lord's gospel when the Lord didn't teach that shit you're, you're teaching. I know that you are Abraham's seed, but you seek to kill me, right? Because my word have no place in you, right? So, so by him telling those scribes that his word didn't have a place in them. So that means that the word must have a place in certain other, other brothers and believers. So you have to repent. Because the word of Yahweh Shai does not have a place in everybody. And you have to be able to discern that. And with that, man, I'm going to get out of here. Hey, Shalom. Repent. Shalom.